There's more to men than just their penis. Do you think we'd get through this video without talking about the weird things the male sex organ does? Only time will tell. If you've ever been awoken by a snoring partner, it was most likely a male. That's because sleep studies have found that men tend to snore more than women. Some research studies have hypothesized that this is because men tend to have more abdominal body fat than women. Whether this is the result of drinking too much beer or just not working out enough, it's something to be assessed on a case-by-case -case basis. The American Academy of Sleep Medicine found that about 40% of men are habitual snorers. This is almost twice the percentage of women, which the study found was closer to 24. So if you're a male who is woken up by snoring, there's a good chance you were the snorer and woke yourself up. Dental hygiene is important for both males and females, but did you know that men's teeth are larger on average than women's? This might not be super surprising, but the reason why is actually pretty crazy. All of the teeth in the male mouth tend to be larger than in females. However, there is one set of teeth that are almost always larger and sharper in men. The pointy canine teeth can be significantly larger in a man's mouth. When you think about it in evolutionary terms, this makes sense. Our closest relatives, the chimpanzee, use their canines to assert dominance in a group by pulling back their lips in a threatening way to show off their teeth. In this display of power, the canines are always the most prominent. In our distant past, human ancestors most likely had a hierarchy within their social groups similar to that of which we see today in modern apes. Therefore, males who had larger canines were more intimidating and dangerous. This was less important for the females of the species, so there was no evolutionary pressure for them to evolve larger teeth. Hair can be a touchy subject for men. Whether it's because early hair loss is embarrassing or because they want a luxurious beard, men are obsessed with their hair. But one weird fact is that men typically have darker hair than women do. When you think about it, you probably know more blonde-haired women than men. This is not surprising, since when men go through puberty, they produce higher amounts of melanin than women. Melanin is one of the pigments responsible for skin, hair, and eye color. More melanin normally results in darker traits. Since men tend to produce slightly more melanin than women, this most likely plays a role in them having darker hair on average. We've all heard the saying that someone has thick skin, meaning that not a lot bothers them, but men actually have thicker skin. Men normally generate more testosterone than women. One side effect of this is that men's skin is slightly thicker. Testosterone can stimulate the growth of skin cells. More skin cells means thicker skin. In fact, men's skin tends to be about 25% thicker than the skin of females. This is not an insignificant number, and the difference between male and female skin does not just stop there. Men also have tougher skin than women. Whether this was an evolutionary adaptation to help them in fending off dangerous animals or fighting for dominance in their social circle is unclear, but tougher skin might have been an advantage to men earlier in our species' history. Thicker and tougher skin could be just a byproduct of more testosterone, but it also might have helped men survive. One last weird fact about men's skin is that it actually has the ability to slow the aging process. What we mean by this is that if men are careful about how they treat their body, the signs of aging will be reduced. Men lose collagen density slightly slower than women do, resulting in less wrinkles and sagging as they get older. The fact that a man is getting older doesn't change, but the looks associated with aging can be less significant in men than in women. This is only true if men take care of their skin. We're not talking about using moisturizing products, but by reducing sun-related damage by wearing sunscreen, and making sure to be careful while shaving to reduce nicks and other damage to the skin. If men are smart about how they treat their skin, it will last much longer and allow them to maintain their rugged good looks a bit longer. We did our best to stay away from the penis, but there are too many weird facts about it to not include in the video, so here we go. All men are born with foreskin around the tip of their penis. Depending on the culture they're raised in or preference of the parents, the skin can be removed or circumcised. But what is the foreskin of the penis actually for? The answer is pretty weird. The foreskin itself is a double layer of skin and a mucous membrane that covers the head of the penis when it's flaccid. The foreskin most likely served as some form of protection for the penis in the distant past before humans developed clothing. It may have prevented dust or other outside particulates from entering the urethra, or perhaps it was a shield against unpleasant bug bites on the sensitive head of the male member. As of right now, we do not know exactly why men have foreskins. However, the World Health Organization has found some interesting and scary facts about this weird part of the male body. According to the WHO, uncircumcised men have a higher risk of contracting HIV. This is because the cells called Langerhans cells found in the mucus under the foreskin are highly susceptible to the HIV virus. These cells allow the virus an entry point into the body where it can begin to target a man's white blood cells and dismantle their immune system. The WHO found that men who are circumcised have a reduced risk of contracting HIV by 60%. 
And the weird facts about the foreskin don't stop there. Circumcision of the piece of skin dates all the way back to the artwork in Egyptian tombs from around 2300 BCE. The removal of the foreskin became common as a rite of passage in Jewish and Muslim religions long ago, but it was in the 1800s that foreskin removal got real weird. During the 1800s, circumcision gained favor in the realm of public health. It was claimed that by removing the foreskin, a man could be relieved of antisocial behavior or even paralysis. The foreskin was also blamed for decreasing a man's sexual pleasure and therefore was often removed. Even though none of those benefits of removing foreskin are true, this strange piece of male body definitely gives you something to think about. Whether a man has a foreskin or not, the shape of the penis is the same, and this shape has some surprising and weird functions. The head of the penis is shaped in a way that may serve an evolutionary benefit for males. Scientists know that in certain primates, males often compete to have sex with the same female to pass on their DNA to the next generation. Humans are no different in the evolutionary scheme of things. The head of the penis is actually pretty good at extracting another male's sperm from the female's reproductive system. Think of it as a kind of plunger. The mushroom shape of the male penis allows the head to scoop out rival sperm and give its own sperm a better chance at reaching the egg. This fact is also supported by scientific studies. In the Journal of Evolutionary Psychology, one study found that the shape of the human penis was optimal for depositing sperm into the vagina while simultaneously displacing rival sperm. Researchers at the University of Albany took things a step further and created artificial penises of different shapes to see what was best at scooping out rival sperm. Their findings were not entirely surprising. The shape of an average male penis did an excellent job at flushing out the sperm that was already in the vagina and thereby allowing the male's own sperm to have a better shot at impregnating a female. Men's bodies create some weird substances, but none is stranger than semen. What makes this body fluid so unique is the journey that it takes to be created. When a man ejaculates, the substance that comes out of the urethra is called semen. You may be surprised to learn that semen actually isn't made up of very much sperm. In fact, only about 1-5% to of the liquid is made up of the sex cells. Semen itself isn't even created in the testicles like you might think. Three different areas of the male body are needed to generate and mix together all the components of semen. Sperm is created in the testes, and when a man ejaculates it begins its journey through the seminal vesicles, where a yellowish fluid is mixed in. This substance is what around 70% of the semen is actually made of. After the seminal vesicles, the liquid passes through the prostate, where a fluid containing enzymes and other molecules is added. Just before ejaculation, the fluid goes through the bulbal urethral glands, which secrete lubrication to allow the sperm to pass out of the urethra. So the journey of semen is a pretty wild one. Our final weird fact about the male body is something that many men have experienced and is quite painful. For those of you who wonder if men get yeast infections like females do, the answer is yes. Oftentimes, yeast infections are associated with pain in the female urinary tract. But men can experience this as well. A buildup in bacteria in the urethra can cause massive discomfort in men. If you're a male or female who has never had a yeast infection, consider yourself lucky. Yeast infections are more common in men who are uncircumcised, so removing that piece of skin covering the penis may have even more health benefits. But even circumcised men can get yeast infections. Like in women, male yeast infections come with a rash, discharge, and pain in the urethra. Luckily for men, the same medication that works for females can cure them as well. If you thought yeast infections were a weird situation that only happened to females, think again. The male and female bodies are much more similar than they are different. Now watch Weird Facts About the Testicles, or check out Weird Facts About the Female Body.